we need to solve the equation 7 times the quantity x plus 9 plus 3 equals negative 7 times the quantity x minus 5 minus 3. The solution is the value of x that satisfies the equation, which is the value of x that makes the expression on the left equal to the expression on the right. In order to solve for x, we need to isolate x on one side of the equation. And the first step in solving this equation is to clear the parentheses by distributing 7 here and distributing negative 7 here. So 7 times x is 7x plus 7 times 9 is 63 plus 3 equals negative 7 times x is negative 7x. We can view the next product as negative 7 times negative 5, which is positive 35. So have plus 35 minus 3. Now that we've distributed, we want to see if we can simplify either side of the equation. And we can. Here are two like terms on the left and two like terms on the right. 63 plus 3 equals 66. The left side simplifies to 7x plus 66 equals on the right side. 35 minus 3 equals 32, so the right side simplifies to negative 7x plus 32. Now remember, our goal is to isolate x on one side of the equation. We cannot isolate x if we have an x term on the left and an x term on the right. So our next step will be to get the x terms on one side. We can do this by either undoing or eliminating negative 7x from the right or undoing or eliminating positive 7x from the left. Let's undo or eliminate the negative 7x on the right by adding 7x to both sides of the equation. Notice that negative 7x plus 7x is 0. Remember, whatever operation we perform to one side of the equation, we must also perform to the other to maintain equality. Now we simplify both sides. 7x plus 7x equals 14x. So 14x plus 66 equals, again, negative 7x plus 7x is 0. So the right side is equal to 32. The next step is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term, which means you want to undo plus 66 by subtracting 66 on both sides of the equation. So have minus 66 on the left and minus 66 on the right. Simplifying. Subtracting 66 undoes adding 66, or 66 minus 66 is 0, so we have 14x equals 32 minus 66 is the same as 32 plus negative 66, which equals negative 34. So 32 minus 66 is negative 34. So now we have 14x equals negative 34. The last step is to multiply or divide in order to solve for x. And because 14x means 14 times x, to undo multiplying by 14, we divide both sides by 14. Dividing by 14 undoes multiplying by 14. So the left side simplifies to x. Or 14 divided by 14 equals 1, and 1 times x is x. And on the left side, we have the fraction negative 34 fourteenths, which is our solution, but we need to simplify the fraction as much as possible. The greatest common factor between 34 and 14 is 2, and therefore to simplify the fraction, we'll divide the numerator and denominator by 2, giving us the solution x equals negative 34 divided by 2 equals 17, 14 divided by 2 equals 7. So the solution is x equals negative 17 sevenths. But before we go, let's verify the solution by making sure it satisfies the original equation. To do this, we'll substitute negative 17 sevenths for x and make sure the left side of the equation equals the right side. Performing the substitution, we would have 7 times the quantity negative 17 sevenths plus 9 plus 3 equals negative 7 times the quantity negative 17 sevenths minus 5 minus 3. Let's evaluate each side of the equation using the calculator. So on the left side, we have 7 times the quantity negative 17 sevenths plus 9 plus 3. Enter. 
So the left side is equal to 49 when x equals negative 17 sevenths. Let's make sure the right side also equals 49. On the right side we have negative 7 times the quantity negative 17 sevenths minus 5 minus 3. And notice how the right side is also 49. So because 49 equals 49, this verifies x equals negative 17 sevenths, satisfies the equation, and is our solution. I hope you found this helpful.